Thank you for joining me for this gentle yoga practice. I'm Jeannie Kelly. These yoga poses can be helpful for the low back, the upper back and neck, as well as the hips, knees and overall posture. Please take care of your body and only do the movements that feel safe for you. We will start on the belly. So as you prepare coming onto your belly, reach the arms back next to your body with palms facing the floor. If that's not comfortable, another option is to rest hands under the shoulders. And just prepare, take a breath in, stay here and exhale it out, draw belly muscles in, try to keep the belly firm. Next inhale, lift the chest and arms. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, the upper body down. You can bring the forehead to the mat or turn the head to one side. Again, with an inhale, lift the chest and arms, feel back muscles working. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, release. If you're turning the head, turn the other way. And again, with an inhale, lift the chest and arms. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale. Exhale, the upper body down. And one more time, breathing in, lift the chest and arms. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, everything down. Rest. Take a breath. And then coming up onto all fours, coming to hands and knees, we'll stretch the back of the body. Just preparing here. Check that hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips. Take a breath in. As you exhale, move the belly towards the thighs and hips towards the heels. Inhaling, come back to hands and knees. Each exhale, move the hips towards the heels just as far as feels safe for your knees. Each inhale, come back to hands and knees, lifting the chest. Each time you exhale back, also draw belly muscles in, move the chin towards the chest. Inhaling to hands and knees, lift the chest, looking up, stretch the front of the body, breathing out as you go back. Breathing in, hands and knees. Continue on your own for a few more, flowing with your breath. Do the best you can to synchronize movement and breath, but if that's ever hard, just keep your breath flowing. The next time you come back to hands and knees, pause there. And we'll practice one more pose on the belly. This time, as you make your way onto your belly, just prepare resting hands under shoulders keeping elbows close to the ribs and drawing shoulders down away from the ears. Prepare with the breath in, stay here and just exhale, draw belly muscles in, try to keep the belly firm. Next inhale, lift the chest, lift the legs, spread the legs wide. Exhale, legs together with big toes coming towards each other. Inhale, legs wide. Again, exhale, legs together, this time release down. Again, with an inhale, lift the chest and legs, spread the legs wide. Exhale, legs together, big toes towards each other. Inhale, legs wide. Exhale, legs together and release. Couple more. Breathing in, lift the chest and legs, legs go wide. Exhale, legs together, big toes towards each other. Inhale, legs wide. Exhale, legs together, release down. Rest if you need to, or one more if you can. With an inhale, lift the chest and legs, legs wide. Exhale, legs together, big toes towards each other. Inhale, legs wide. Exhale, legs together, release, rest for a moment. Take a few breaths. And then coming to hands and knees, We'll come into child's and just hold child's this time to rest and stretch the low back. So moving the belly towards the thighs and hips towards the heels just as far as feels safe for your knees. Also the chin towards the chest. 
And if it's easy, let your head rest on the floor. Or if it felt better, use some support under your forehead. You could make fists with your hands, stack one fist on top of the other, and then rest the forehead on the top hand or any other adjustment, make it as comfortable as you can. Taking a few deep breaths here, see if you can inhale so deeply you feel muscles in the back stretch with the breath coming in. Exhale slowly, let muscles relax with the breath flowing out. Then coming back to hands and knees, check that hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips. We'll move into the balancing cat. Just prepare by drawing abdominal muscles in, keep the belly firm. Stretch the left leg back, then lift it up so it's about parallel to the floor. And you might just hold there, just doing that is strengthening for the low back and abdominal muscles. Or if you can, reach the right arm forward at shoulder height. Really reach the arm forward, stretch the leg back, reaching in two directions to help lengthen the spine. And we'll add some movement with an inhale, touch the lifted fingers and toes to the floor. Exhale, lift the arm and leg back up to parallel. Again, inhale, touch fingers and toes to the floor. Exhale, lift back up, draw belly muscles in. Inhale, touch the floor. Exhale up. One more, breathe in, touch the floor. Breathe out. And then release the hand and knee back to the floor. Getting ready for the other side, tighten belly muscles, keep the belly firm. Stretch the right leg back, lift it up parallel to the floor. If you can, add the left arm reaching forward from the shoulder and first, first reach in two directions, helping to lengthen the spine. Reach the arm forward, stretch the leg back and keep belly muscles drawing in. Then with an inhale, touch the lifted fingers and toes to the floor. Exhale, lift the arm and leg back up to parallel. Inhale, touch the floor. Exhale, lift, draw belly muscles in each time. Inhale, touch the floor. Exhale, up, and one more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Reaching in two directions. Then release the hand and knee. Come back into child's pose. Make it comfortable. Maybe support your head and rest.